What's up everyone? Here to do my episode review of Hunter x Hunter 131 and man this episode was in my opinion by far the best episode of Hunter x Hunter I've seen thus far in the series and uh, it was really good but at the same time like I was so disappointed to hear that he won't be able to use Nen again um, don't get me wrong, like, he's the main character, so I'm, I'm pretty sure eventually he will be able to, but I just wonder, like, what is gonna happen from here, because I don't read the manga, and I'm just really curious, because I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, like I said, I really like this week's episode, my favorite thus far in the series. So, the episode starts off with Shia Poof talking to Killa, just telling him that, he has the ability to tell P2 not to attack Gon or kill Gon, but Kill just immediately goes on his way to go help Gon, and we go right into it. P2 tells Gon that she has to kill him because, as she said uh, like 10 episodes ago when she was healing Kumagi, that his fangs could possibly reach the king because he has potential, and... Gone is just like he doesn't even care the fact that she says she's gonna kill him he's like wow like you're a liar just all he cares about is the fact that she never got to heal kite and man this power up <laughs> like this is literally one of my favorite power ups of all time like it was really really well done i like how madhouse did it and man he has the whole entire building shaking and P2 is just in shock and she's like what is this because she, she doesn't get how he's this strong and Gon says I don't care if this is the end I'll use everything and P2 says that his power is equal to the king's and obviously she hasn't seen the king since he got another power up but man just saying that he's that strong like that really is just mind boggling but um, P2 uses her ability, uh, Tepricora or something like that. I'm I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but she's pushing her body to the limits to attack Gon. And, man, he dodges this so fast. This is what I got out of that moment. When she tried to attack him, he automatically went to the entrance to wait for her. And, like, it took her a minute to, like, think about if he was going after the king and get there. And he was just sitting there waiting. And, man, he was looking so mean, like just that was so creative just i really did not expect that honestly just like him aging himself or maturing himself like i just really did not see that coming like i thought that he was gonna have like an ability but and maybe like become a specialist but man it, it was just really interesting and i was surprised that he actually ended up aging himself and he's just so composed when he's walking out of the building he just tells her i don't want to destroy this place come follow me and man he was just looking so like sweet i'm not gonna lie like him being an adult like it was just really well done just because it also makes me think like obviously could gone be that strong at a point in time like obviously like i said i know he, I, I have a feeling i don't i'm pretty sure he's not gonna die and just like, he kind of gave us a preview of the potential that we could see from Gon, which I really loved. Now, to the main event, the actual fight. I just thought it was really well done, but in my opinion, that wasn't much of a fight. That was more of a massacre because she did not have a chance from the start. She tries to attack him, and he, oh my God, it, it looks like he was staring at her for like moments and she, like she could do nothing when he just kicks her into the air so high that she, when she comes down there are clouds around her that that was just mind blowing and when he connects oh my gosh you just like <laughs> you see her go flying then it looked like miles that she went and also just seeing like gone do his rock paper scissors like most of the time, the aura, like, that he charges up, like, for example, when they were doing dodgeball, like, the aura around him was clear. When he charged up that rock, paper, scissors, like, it looked, like, really dense. Like, you couldn't see through it at all. And just, like, how loud it screeched when, it, when he powered it up. It was just really crazy and well done. But, um, he sends her flying, and Pito's actually happy because... That's when she breaks it to us that he won't be able to use Nen. 
And when I heard that, I was just like, like, I obviously knew you couldn't gain an ability like this, but I mean, for it to be this sweet, I guess it was worth it. But I'm just really wondering that, like, it's not a really stupid plot device the way that he does get his ability back. Because if it's just in a dumb way, like, I would really hate it. But, um, we go over to Kiwa and he's coming over there and he just, like, is hearing all these, like, pounds and he just doesn't know who it is which we know that it's gone and he's just seeing gone and he's just like is that you like not only from him like pounding her skull out because that's we obviously all know that gone's not that type of character like his size too it, it was just really well done and he said how many years has he gone because he obviously did the opposite of bisky bisky was looking younger but she was already that strong he's going decades to get that strong which i don't know hopefully it gets explained a little more or if somebody does know like a little more detail on how it's done because i was a little confused about how like he was able to do that but he is an enhancer though which in my opinion that made a little more sense of why he could become big like that and enhance his muscles i guess but anyways gone is just hurt when he sees kiwa and at that point, Nefer P2's uh, Nen, I believe. This was another part. Could somebody, if you are a manga reader, could let me know about... I did not get how, like, her Nen was still there and controlling her body. Because, like, she's dead. And she's the one that uses her Nen to activate that ability. So, I don't know. That was a little weird to me. But I could tell what it signified when Gon let Nefer P2's puppet... Because she obviously wasn't alive at that point take off his arm he because like he said it, it was just like so sad he was like now i feel how kite did i'm kind of happy and after that he just like grabs his arm punches nefer p2 and just throws his arm and says you can have it and then charges up a rock paper scissors with an arm that isn't there like it, it was just really mind-blowing and it just shows that this series separates itself from other shonens like it really is still kind of like mind boggling that this is actually a shonen series like arms are off like people's like obviously to kill the ants like their heads have to be cut off like that's just not something i'm used to from a shonen series and that's why i love hunter x hunter and another reason why is because of how everything is explained, which uh, hopefully there is an explanation of why Gon was able to do that and why Nefer P2's puppet was still able to move. But, like, I obviously understand that they said her will was that strong, but I don't know. Maybe it was just something that he did for this just to show her true resolve. But anyways, like I said, I really enjoyed this week's episode, <laughs> my favorite one so far. And I'm just really wondering where they're going to go from here like what's gonna happen to Gon's like body once he's done using that ability uh, another question I have is will he be able to ever use it again I know that the manga is coming back and I'm not sure whether <laughs> I'm gonna catch up or not but I've been thinking about it but um I'm just like really wondering when he is fine and okay again will he be able to maybe like use that ability to be like i don't know a couple years ahead of where his training is to be strong like or something like that but um also i'm wondering like will he be able to stay in that form for a second or will he immediately like go unconscious after this like that ending was just really good how just watching that explosion and yeah it was just really good i like the episode a lot obviously but anyways let me know what you guys think like i said i enjoyed the episode but that's all i have and thanks